Good day! My name is Jebel Mandeville from AB Foreign Service 201 and in this video, I'll be talking about the summary of my research paper entitled The Olympic Truth, Effectivity of the United Nations as one of the main organizers of multilateral sport diplomacy in settling issues regarding gender inequality and international conflict. At present, it was said that the United Nations has been doing their best in promoting its vision of global human rights through the implementation of sporting programs that promote peace, development, and international collaboration. In addition to that, it also couldn't be denied that gender equality has been a hot topic for a long time as there has been a clear salary discrepancy between men and women in sports. With that idea in mind then, Aside from effectivity of Olympics in settling international disputes, this study will also cover the improvement of the women's participation in Olympics over the years to also see if there has been efforts made on the part of the sporting event organizers. Sport is indeed one of the most effective tools for development and peace. Aside from it disregards both geographical and social differences in the international realm, it also encourages social inclusion and economic progress in many geographical, cultural, and political situations. One of the most notable international issues is regarding the promotion of gender equality and female empowerment. According to the data presented in the study, it could be deemed that both the total number of athletes as well as the rate of female participation have increased over the last 120 years. Given the fact that the number of women competing in Olympic Games has increased dramatically as time passes by, this just reaffirms the effectivity of the IOC in encouraging gender equality with its leadership. Providing an opportunity for the International Olympic Committee to highlight the power of the Sport Development and Peace Initiative in reducing violence and improving the well-being of vulnerable people throughout the world, the sports, through the aid of the United Nations, enables the youth to learn about developing their skills and improving their conflict resolution in general. Aiming to unite people and enabling them to cross every boundary there is, the movement of the United Nations basically enabled the people in general to develop respect and social inclusion which are all in support to the conflict resolution processes. Sports are recognized as a critical enabler of sustainable development in a 2030 agenda. In relation to this, sports' flexible nature enables it to meet various sustainable development goals at once. On the other hand, in line with the idea provided in the data gathered, the number of women competing in the Olympic Games has indeed increased dramatically. With that idea in mind then, it could be deemed that the International Olympic Committee is doing a great job in ensuring that they will still give gender equality a good attention on their agenda, despite the effects of the COVID-19 crisis at present. One of the proclaimed purposes of the Olympic movement is to promote world peace. But despite their great statements, it couldn't be denied that Olympic organizers only have a limited ability to promote peace between conflicting nations. With this idea in mind then, it could be deemed that although Olympics has good intentions, it still couldn't be denied that its ability to prevent wars from happening is indeed still lacking. Given the fact that sports still encounters numerous obstacles in realizing its full potential as a tool for peace, the International Olympics Committee together with the United Nations then should put more importance in addressing violence and misbehavior in sporting events. Aside from that, the United Nations and the International Olympics Committee should also continue to fight abuses and promote good governance, integrity, and transparency in the international realm using the sports event as a medium so that unacceptable behaviors will be tackled if not prevented. Sports' contribution to development and peace has long been recognized by the United Nations. And it is undeniable indeed that the partnership between the International Olympics Committee and the United Nations has played an important role in promoting the recognition of sport as a means of achieving globally recognized development goals. With that idea in mind then, 
it would be better if the two organizations can further solidify their cooperation when it comes to running the sport event in order to better use sport as a tool in building a better world in general. While it is debatable if the Olympic truce really reduced tensions throughout the world, there is at least little doubt that sport is playing an increasingly important role in supporting the United Nations purpose at present. As one of the main organizers of multilateral diplomacy in settling issues regarding gender inequality and international conflict on the other hand, the United Nations was deemed to only have a limited ability in promoting peace between conflicting nations. Nevertheless, United Nations was said to have done a decent job in promoting gender equality and women empowerment. The United Nations has made great efforts in restoring peace and stability to the world's unstable regions on a constant basis. That aim may still be out of reach, but if Olympic truce can help achieve even a temporary truce from conflict and suffering, it will send a powerful message of optimism to the rest of the world. With its simple aim of just persuading countries to adhere to the Olympic truce and end hostilities at least during the Olympic Games, this brings hope for the world in general. Because if international peace can indeed be observed for a few days, there's also a possibility that the world may finally achieve the actual peace as well in the near future.